Yes, it's still Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa, and now we're talking the NBA. Well, we have Marka joining us this morning to speak on the NBA and also give us some interesting analysis. Good to have you with us, Marka. Good morning. It's always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's been quite a while we've, we've had you on the show. Hope you've been keeping safe. Yes, I have. You know, COVID is still taking its course, but I've just been keeping safe and practicing my um, CDC rules. So, yeah, yeah face mask and all. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the NBA has um, restarted, and I'm sure you're as excited as every other basketball fan out there. Mm -hmm. Of course. Who cannot be excited? I mean, there are different circumstances. The teams are in the bubble. Um, it's a little different this year, but I think everyone is excited to see the play going on and, and the teams getting back into things. Mm. All right, let's start off with the teams. Now, let's go into the NBA proper now. The teams topping the conferences now. The Lakers and the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, it seems like they are tearing things apart in uh, the Eastern and Western Conference. Yeah, I mean, they were topping the league before, um, you know, the season got to a halt. Um, and they're still topping the league, obviously playing at a high level, dropping some games here and there. Um, but I think that's expected as the teams are trying to get back into the groove of things. But um, the Lakers and the Milwaukee is still, they're still doing their thing. Um, LeBron James leading and Giannis leading the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, and and their, their teammates are getting into things and they're all playing at a high level. So it'll be very interesting to see what will happen once playoffs start very soon. Yeah, still staying with that now. Let me quickly run through um, the teams, the top eight teams now, so you can explain better to us who will be moving into the playoffs um, proper and who will be dropping off from there. In the Eastern Conference, we have the Milwaukee Bucks, Toronto Raptors, Boston Celtics, there's the Miami Heat, um, there's also the Indiana Pacers, Philadelphia 76ers, Brooklyn Nets, and the Orlando Magic. It looks like the Milwaukee Bucks has they've sealed their place, but what will happen to the rest of the team? Yeah, so the, the Bucks have sealed um, their spot. And, I mean, I think that was expected. They were a few games ahead of the rest. Um, as far as the Raptors, the Celtics, the Heat, those, those three teams are actually playing very well. Um, I think for the Bucks, they would have to stay on top of their game if they want to clinch the conference title for the East. Because definitely the Raptors, the Celtics, the Heat, is not going to give them a walk in the park. Um, Bam Adebayo is playing really well with the Heat. Um, you see the Celtics are, are pushing, you know, their, their agenda. And the Raptors, I think Pascal Siakam, Siakam is really um, commanding a lot of presence since Kawhi left. And you can see as it gets closer to the playoffs, he's really playing well on the defensive end, playing well on the offensive end, and just helping his team to to push through and, and get wins. So I'm I'm really excited to see who's going to top the East. My money is on the Bucks, but they have to know that Giannis is going to play have to play at a high level defensively and offensively and leading his team, bringing the ball down, knocking down shots and rebounding as he has been doing, but he cannot let up any night or, you know, they could drop some games and it'll be really tight for them. Yeah, and uh, looking at the Western Conference, uh, this is, it's been a long time I actually saw the Lakers top the league, and now they're doing it, and they're quite strong in, in that one. We have the Lakers, the Clippers, there's also the Denver Nuggets, uh, Houston Rockets, Utah Jazz, Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Dallas Mavericks. But the Lakers, I have my money on Lakers, in as much as I'm not a big fan of the, of the club. Yeah, um... I think a lot of people have their money on the Lakers. Um, LeBron is playing well. AD is in there. Um, they picked up a couple additions. Unfortunately, Rondo is out. Um, but I think they're playing well. Uh, they are dropping a few games here and there. But like I said, that's expected um, as everyone is trying to find their groove. And also, I don't think the coaches really want to overplay and overstress them. Since right now, they've already clinched the title in the West. So I think it's just to give the other guys chances to play so that they can step up. So when the playoffs do start, everyone will be ready to go. Um, but LeBron is leading as always, and it's really good to see him out there. AD is playing well as well. 
Um, and and it's it's good for them, I think, especially with the narrative around LeBron being there and and Kobe's passing. And there was a there's been a lot of talk about the Lakers this season, but um, they're obviously the favorite. But they should know that the Clippers is not going to hand it to them. Yeah, um, Kawhi is playing well out there with George, and and it, it's it's going to be a close one, definitely. Yeah, but looking at um, the Lakers, would you? Do you agree with me if I say that LeBron James has been the huge turnaround, has made a huge turnaround for the club and how they um, attack their games now? Yeah, of course. I mean, LeBron James is LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he's always going to be in the talks when it comes to the Lakers. Um, and he is playing well, but he's expected to, to play well. I mean, he's an all-star MVP he has you know a couple of championships and he's been in the league for quite some time now so I think you can only expect that from LeBron but I think what's really commendable for me is his leadership you know mm -hmm. he talks to his guys he rallies his guys he leads by example um, and I think that's really um, something that people have to respect when it comes to LeBron James not only his game but his leadership abilities. And that's going to be so crucial in the playoffs and leading up to the championship. Now, talking about um, the most valuable players now and how these guys get to um, improve their teams, Give me your, do, you, do you have your top three or top five when it comes to most valuable per player predictions? I'll let you go first before I give you my top five. <laughs> we might be, on the same, might be on the same page, but let me hear yours first. Well, um, I think this is a really, uh, it's a debated topic right now um, mm -hmm. because there are a lot of, there are a couple names that are up there and I think a lot of people are saying, well, I think it's this player or I think it's this player. Um, but I think at the end of the day, I would say my top three um, would be Giannis, LeBron, and Anthony Davis. What's quite interesting about the LeBron Anthony Davis debate is although we see LeBron's leadership and his presence on the court um, truthfully speaking AD actually averages a little bit more than him when it comes to points and rebounds um, so some people be like yeah okay LeBron is a better player all around but if you look at the stats sheets you will see that AD is actually leading the Lakers and a couple of categories. So um, they're both awesome players. Um, I think LeBron is a little bit more tight on the defensive end, but they're both they both have a presence on both ends of the floor and very crucial to the Lakers um, team right now. But I would put my money on Giannis. I mean, the guy is just he's a presence. He's very hard to stop. I mean. He's commanding double-doubles after double-doubles on rebounding, um, obviously averaging a lot of points. Um, and not only that, he brings the ball up, he passes the ball, he gets his players involved. Um, but I think the most um, commendable thing about him is his defensive presence. He's actually in the talks right now for um, defensive player of the year. So you have a player that not only does it on the offensive end, but also does it on the defensive end. And obviously his, his team has, you know, the best record right now. So, I mean, you can't, you can't fault him for that. Um, and if I would have to choose uh, MVP this year, I'll give Giannis's back-to-back -back and give him the, another MVP award. All right. Look, looking at my top five, I don't even have Anthony Davis on my list. I have Giannis, there's LeBron James, there is um, James Harden. Yes, I might be wrong, but James Harden has it for me. There's also Luka Doncic and Kawhi Leonard. These are the guys I have I've picked as my top five when it comes to predictions for the MVP. But let's see how it turns out. But it looks like all fingers are pointing towards Giannis Antetokounmpo right there. I'll give you um, 30 seconds. Would you think we'll win the playoffs this season? Um, actually, this season is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I think on any given night, any team could win. I think the playoffs is typically like that. But I think for this season, a lot of teams are very close. 
you see um, teams winning games, team losing games, even the top teams, um, Milwaukee Bucks, Lakers, Clippers, um, Toronto Raptors, they're winning games, they're losing games. Um, they're losing to teams that you probably say on paper they shouldn't lose to, but they end up losing to them. Yeah. Um, this season playoffs is going to be very, very tight on both ends in both conferences. Um, um, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Um, I would have to say I'm looking at a Lakers versus Milwaukee Bucks finals. Wow. Um, I think Eastern Conference finals, if I would put my money, I would say the probably the Bucks and the Heat. Okay. Um, then I would say uh, Western Conference finals, I would say LA Clippers and the and Lakers. Lakers. Um, so it, I don't know how the brackets and everything are going to work out, but if I, if I would put it like that, um, definitely those two teams, those are the top teams that I see right now. Um, the rappers are, the Raptors are good, but I feel like he has some fire, mm. even Boston, you can't call, count Boston out. Um, definitely. but I think the heat has some fire that a lot of people are not really, hasn't really seen, um, and I, I wouldn't sleep on them. Um, definitely Jason Tatum is doing well in, in Boston and leading them. And, you know, they have Kimball Walker and a couple of Gordon and a couple other guys. But I, I would put my money on the Heat, put my money on the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers, and the Clippers. The Clippers. All right, let's see how that turns out. And I hope your prediction comes through. Well, once again, thank you very much, Marka, for joining us this morning to talk basketball. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure. All right. <laughs> Keep it safe out there. And, uh, well, that's much we can take today on Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. I hope you enjoyed the package. I'm Udoka and Joko. And don't forget to reach us on social media, Plus TV Africa, on Twitter and on Instagram. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Plus TV Africa. And our website is www.plustvafrica.com. Keep logged down to Plus TV Africa because the big stories live here. <laughs>